YouTube tells me that 1% of you are subscribed, so if you like what you're about to see, please consider subscribing. It helps out the content and helps get videos like this recommended to others. Now let's get into the video. To get started with the Godot UI system, you can create a new scene and give it a control node. And then to get started, we can right click and then add a node. The most simple UI node is a label. A label is really simple because it only contains text. In the inspector over here, we can edit this text. So I could say this is text and then I could run the scene. And then in Godot game, we can see that it says this is text. We can also modify this in script by going to our script and then referencing the label. So dollar sign label and then typing in dot text, lowercase letters. And then we can say equal to a string. So I could say to two for an example. And then I can run the scene and then we can say that it changes to two. So I'm going to delete that back to pass and then get rid of the label. The next simple node is a button. A button is self-explanatory. It's a button that the user can click on. So to add a button and just go into create new node, type in button. You have all these options for buttons, but only worry about the one that actually says button. We have the ability to change the contents of the button. So I can just give this button, make sure it is spelled correctly. It doesn't really matter. And then to actually use the button, we have to go to our note tab and then go to pressed and then connect it to your script. And then we can just like say print, let's just say print hello world like this. And then we can run our scene. And then every time we press the button, it says hello world. And then we can also do a dollar sign dot button dot Q free. So every time we press the button, which is once, it will delete the button. So it's that simple. Now I'm going to get rid of this function and then get rid of the button. The final simple node is a pop-up. So to add a pop-up, just go to add new node and then just select pop-up. It's going to be disabled, so just enable it real quickly. You'll get this warning. It says the pop-ups will hide by default unless you call the pop-up method. This is perfectly fine. So to actually use the pop-up, just add something in it. I'm just going to add a label. And then let's see here. I could just say this is a pop-up window. And then I'm just going to move the pop-up just because... I want it to be a little bit further down. And then I'm also going to add a button to my control. And then in this one, I'm just going to say pop up like this. I'm going to put that closer to the center as well. And then on the pressed function, connect it to control. I'm going to say dollar sign pop up dot pop up. It is that simple to call a pop up function. So as soon as I press this button, we have something that says this is a pop up window. So it's that simple to create a pop up.